And hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sim Games TO, and I am your host, Tony, and we are going to be continuing our build of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And last segment, we were working on making the Rideau View Forestry and Fletcher Zoo, uh, which are, are both doing well. So the forestry area is now making a profit of $19,800. Central Park Farm is making $17,400. So that is fantastic. And so in this segment, we're going to start expanding the city down to the south. And the reason we're going to be moving to the south is because we need to see if we can get some more workers into these areas, into these industrial areas and we've got some worker shortage here as well so I expect that workers will move into here and to here uh, from an air if we put residential areas inside here which is what goes in there in real life and the other reason is to try to populate this university some more we're just a little bit short on um, just just a weeny bit short on student population in the university we have 743 51 now 751 students uh, so hovering around that number so 1760 and we need 1800 for it to level up to a star 5 university because we meet all the other requirements the campus attractiveness is 1870 we need 1800 academic works we have 22 and we need 16 so the only requirement we're missing to level up to a level five campus here is to get the students uh, population so let's go ahead and see how we're going to build this southern area so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be removing some squares because there's going to be a main road that's going to go through here and uh, that we do have to put in or well should put in rather and so I'm going to open this all up so that we are going to be able to do that Okay, so that is going to be good enough. And I only take the squares that are pretty much I'm going to need and work with. So, I do have the 81 tile mod that you can get from the Steam Workshop. And um, that will allow you to open up any squares on the map uh, that you would like to, uh, up to all 81. So... Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go take a look at Google Maps and see what it says as to what we are going to need to put in here to get get us started and continue on with our build of Ottawa. So we have a street in the middle. Okay, so in the middle here, in between here. Uh, here and here, so about here, there is a road that comes out called um, Walkley Road. That is an arterial main road that runs all the way to Highway, uh, the Trans Canada Highway, which is 417, apparently. And so that is what we are going to do. And then there's an interchange there. So uh, for cars to get on and off, well, not an interchange, yeah, kind of an interchange. There's an on and off ramp uh, for vehicles, vehicles to get on and off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in. And that'll set up kind of the border of where we're going to be working from. So um, it's actually going to go on about here. and just run straight through to there. So let's go ahead and put this road in. So let's see here, and we are going to put it, it goes about, it goes here, and let me just see exactly where it goes, it's right on the bottom edge of this, um, but I just don't have space to build the, I need somewhere I could put the um, on-ramp and off-ramp, so I just got to keep that in mind as I'm going here. Let's see if I can get that in. So it goes over here till, till about there. Now let's see if that is consistent with the map. Yep, okay, so the curve there and back, okay, almost. Well, it's about there, like that. Okay, 
So we'll go ahead and put it put it in over here, just as such, and just around the end of there. Okay. So so about so it goes about there. There we go. And that is one long road, and we are gonna have it go above. Now, I sure hope that we will have space here to be able to put in the on-ramp and off-ramp that we need. So let's go up and across. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it to there. Right there. Okay. So now let's see if we just get the on-ramp. So we'll use... Um, Two lane, no sound barrier on ramps. There we go. That works. That works. Now let's see for these. There we go. We got it. There we go. All right. So that is good. And then we also have um, an interchange and intersection here. And I'm going to leave the highway as is, as imperfect as it is. Uh, or should I remake it? Um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and remake this highway here. Make it a little bit so that they're next to each other because that just doesn't look very good. Uh, it did come with the original default map. And, uh, but we will just go ahead and remake this one straight for us. Use the curvy tool. There, like that. And we'll just have it hug along there. And just go right next to the 470, the northbound lanes. There we go. And to there. There we go. And we will. There we go. We will just reconnect it over here. Okay. There we go, to there. And let's just bring it around to there, and then we'll just connect it in there. Okay, and we'll just smoothen that out just a little bit. There we go, just like that. Okay. So that is significantly better. All right, so let's go ahead and make the second interchange over here. Use a straight line tool to make that. And we'll come to about there, then we'll lift it up. And there, and there we go, and down. There we go, just like that. Oops, and let's grab, uh, let's take an interchange. We, don't, we could use without sound barriers on this one. There we go, there we go, there we go, and just like that. Okay, so that is all done up. And I used the wrong kind of road here, I used a six lane road, so let's downgrade that to a four lane road, because that is what we need and typically use. And there we go. Uh, okay, let me just move this over a little bit. Smoothen that out. Then maybe we'll be able to upgrade it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's remove the traffic lights real fast. And there we go. One, and then I'm sure that there's going to be one down here to remove as well. And there we go. All right. And, so let's go ahead and name it. This is going to be called Walkley Road, I believe. Yes, Walkley Road. So, Walkley Road as uh, such. And, let's make sure the whole thing is named. Yes, it is, from top to bottom. East to West. 
Okay. So that is the main road that goes in. Now we're going to have a marker that we're going to use to set up for where we're going to just kind of set up the area that we are going to work in. Um, it's actually going to give good connectivity for the area. Now we've already got somebody using this. What? What is this? This is a police car. Hmm, so we've already got police patrolling. Okay, so let's go take a look at the map. And what have we got here? So we actually have, in between the 417 and this junction over here, so going, coming back to here, so in between here we have an on-ramp, off-ramp. We are going to make uh, actually a full, we're going to have a road that runs there. So what is this we have here? Why do we have, oh, oh interesting. I never noticed that that takes place. That is really interesting. Okay. Actually, I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Let's bring that in. There we go. I'm going to make that straight. There we go. Okay. Cars will not slow down as much when they're coming in. So they'll be able to move faster and get on faster and flow faster. Okay. Around those curves. Okay. So about halfway is about here. And what we're going to do is put in a road that intersects it about that way like that. Uh, a little diagonal to there. This is actually going to be St. Laurent Boulevard. And that will just cross and go straight to... Um, it goes s south of Walkley, but we're just going to take it to Walkley for now because that's as far out as I'm planning on doing the build for now or in the nearly distant future <laughs> in the event. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put in this road. And then I just have to use some pretty good estimation as to where everything else is going to go. Okay. So, so about halfway is about here. So we are going to go just slightly diagonal. Like that, about diagonal, about like that ish. Hard to tell because uh, the rest of the, there is a curve afterwards too, so I can't just do 90 degrees from Walkley. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna say it goes about there. Um, then we'll go up and across and down. And then it goes down to okay. Okay. Until about there. And almost about two thirds down. Almost about two thirds down, so about there. And then it goes diagonally into there. And like that. It's a bit diagonal after that. Okay, there we go. So we will call this that is Laurentian Boulevard. Okay, so let's go ahead and name that uh, Laurentian Boulevard. Let me just double check the spelling of the road. Uh, Lawrence Boulevard, not Saint Lawrence Boulevard. I got it totally wrong. Saint Lawrence Boulevard. Okay. So that is in. And now we can go ahead and start with the next road because that kind of lays out the land, uh, so to speak, as to how everything else is going to shape out. So we got those two there. Um, I will just leave it as that. That's kind of like a just a place marker so that uh, we can kind of plan everything accordingly so that we will know where everything is going to go spatially. Um, we'll just have a few markers to know how far to go. Okay, and where to go. Okay, so let me take a look here. Next road um, is going to be the next road we're going to do is Bank Street. That is going to come down, turn a little bit and 
down. Okay, so that will, so Bank Street is here. We'll actually turn down and go into it. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm assuming this is Bank Street, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in Bank Street. So I'm gonna use Kirby Tool for this one. Um, I'm gonna go straight for a little bit. Let's see how long I go straight, not for long. Let's kind of turn a little bit. There we go, just like that. And to there. There we go, and that is bank. And then next, uh, we are gonna have uh, airport parkway. And that, guess where that goes? Guess where that road is gonna lead us to? Uh, and yes, soon we are going to be putting in the airport. So that is Airport Parkway. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pull a road um, this way, turn it, and then go straight into here like that. And that is straight enough. Yeah, that's good enough. That's straight enough. Pretty straight. Okay. Um, let me make sure I got this right. Um, actually, let me take a look. Second look at this. Heights. No, I got it wrong. Okay. So that road actually goes straight, and it just diagonals into there. Where did I? Where did I get off thinking that that was going to turn? I don't know what I was thinking. Or where I got that from. But in any event, that mistake will be corrected. So, um, that this road, which street is called Huron Road. Yes, okay. So, so we're going to just go ahead and make it straight. There we go. To there. Uh, just like that. Okay, so I think I got that right now. Let's go around the road. Uh, ooh, no, no, it's a little bit off. This road should come in. Okay. Let's check again. Okay. So actually, it goes this way goes this way across into there. Okay. All right. So let me redo this. Mm. I do want to get this right. Okay. So let's take a check again and let's go to there instead. And then like that. And I will actually use a road, uh, a one-way road, going this way, another one-way road that, let's use curvy, this is a curvy road that turns out, there we go, okay, because it ends into there, so we just kind of smoothly put that in, okay, good. Okay, and let's also use a straight line road to go to there. One way road, not straight line road, uh, one way road to there and there. Okay, fantastic. And so this is going to be Huron, uh, Huron Road. Huron Road. Oh, perfect. Okay, and then let's go ahead and work on the next row. So the next one comes down, curves, and then comes in like this. Okay, so I'll make this part straight. And four lane bike lane real good. And then, uh, okay. Yeah, this is curvy. 
Curvy Route Tool. So there, like that. And that's almost about right. It's a little too exaggerated. So let me make it a little bit shallower. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. And to there. It's like that. Okay. So, now we have those two streets. Okay, so those are in. And that pretty much lays out the area for how it's uh, supposed to go. Um, yeah. Mainly. Yes. Okay. So, there is another road, uh, Hogsback, that comes in here. Um, Brook, uh, Brookfield and Hogsback. I think I'll just call it Brooksfield. Bring it down and. Uh, okay. I see how this is all going now. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in. And it actually starts from here. So this is pretty, this is the easy part. You go to there. Okay. Let's bring it from there to there. Because so it's a direct intersection. Um, actually, I might go a little bit more south. Give ourselves a little bit of room here. There we go. Let's go south a little bit, and I will turn across. There's an, there's a, there will be an on ramp, etc. Okay, so it's all about there. And there we go. So, uh, there we go, and down. Okay, and I assume it just goes across. Yes. Um. Oh, it turns before the river. Okay. So it turns before the river, and it goes down like this, and there we go, okay, and just keep going straight after that, kind of, okay, there we go, alright, and we are going to have, uh, what is this, that is, uh, there is nothing there, it's the ridge, Okay, so let's go ahead and see what road comes in here. Um, okay, I see. So this actually goes down and around, loops around, curvy tool. So this actually loops around, comes back up and in. There we go, and my also. Mm. Well, let's see if we can somehow get this to work. Let's see if we can get that to work. That's Colonel By driveway. And that is the only way I am getting it in. So let's see here. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah, it's not going to make it easy for me to move. So let's just keep it like this. And to there. Okay. So that is Colonel By drive. That will come all the way down into here. Okay, and this road called Prince of Wales Drive, that curves around, down and around, and also comes into Heron Drive. Okay, and then we have this road here, that also comes in, and it just goes straight, and it just goes right into Her straight into Heron Drive. There we go, just like that. Okay, so that's pretty much how the area comes to life and looks. 
Um, wow, look at all the traffic. Okay, so let me just change this a little bit. Put it in with a curve, rather. There we go. That looks much nicer. Okay. And maybe I can move this down a little bit. I could look at a little bit smoother. So it's a little bit more graded. Okay. There we go. Just like that. So that's a lot better. Okay. So next I just want to remove all these traffic lights that were put in. Let's go one, two, three. Any more? No. no, no we don't build any roads there. Okay. So let's get rid of the other ones here that we have. Okay. Let's remove these. Okay. Remove. Remove. They are unnecessary completely. Okay, so remove. And we may have a couple up here. Yes, we do. And anything else up here? No. No, any in here? No, I think we already removed that one. Okay, so that is good for now. So we pretty much got the broad strokes of the area cut out for us, and well, outlined rather for us. So now we could actually start building. Um, I do want to name this um, before we do get started on building. So that is going to be Brookfield Road. Brookfield Road, just like that. <clears throat> okay, good. And I think that is pretty much everything. Uh, oh, except for this. So Bronson. Uh, so this will actually turn into the Airport Parkway. So Airport Parkway, just like that. And this road also needs to be named. This is Bank Street, and we will extend it all the way down to the end here. And we have this named as Heron Road. Yes. Okay. So that is all done. That is all that we will need for now. Okay. So we've kind of got like our square area here that we are going to be working in. And it's just slightly lopsided, but... It's hard to tell exactly which direction that road is supposed to go. It might have gone just a little bit over to the right, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It won't cause us any big problems. Okay. So let's go on and see how this is working. What goes in here? So we'll see. Start with the first neighborhood, um, or you know what? Before we do that, let's let's see where the train line goes. There's a train line that comes in here. Down here, there's a train line, and it comes up. And I think that it would just be responsible for us to go on and put that in now, uh, as opposed to later. Um, yeah. Okay. So, where is that train line? I'm going to move it to daylight so we can see it. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, this we can remove. We don't need this. Okay. And uh, this train line here. There we go. Put it down on the ground so it's a little cheaper for us. Um, there we go. We need to put a cross. is working here. 
And let's see how this crosses here. So it kind of crosses over here. Okay, let's bring it up. Move it on ground. And we'll bring it up and cross it over. There we go. Okay. And it is going to go behind and up behind this intersection here. So it comes up. And then it goes up. And it goes back down. I should just leave it up all the way since I have to cross that other road there. Okay. And just around there. There we go. And just there's some space between the highway and the roads there. And then it comes all the way up. And let's see what happens here. Okay, so there. Like that. And then it circles around. And it comes in here. Okay. Then there's a train station that goes in here. So I will actually bring it down for that. And it kind of goes parallel to the highway because that's where the train station will come in. And we'll deal with that some other time. But just so we have that railroad in because we know that it's going to be there. And uh, we will be able to use it. So, and let me just see if it has an external connection. And it does have an external connection. So that means that if we put a station, attach this to a station, the trains should come. Um, now I hope that external connection is working so far. All the external connections on this map have been working. Okay, so we've got that in there. Now I'm going to add an, an intersection here. Uh, because we did not put in this on-ramp, so I'll put it with sound barriers because there will be residential around here. And there we go, and there we go. And let me just fix that up a little bit. And out, uh, out, and in. And out, and in. There we go. Okay, it's got a nicer look and feel to it that way. Okay. So, we've got all that, and it's going to now allow access for vehicles in from to and from this direction to get on and off uh, at Bronson Avenue and uh, Airport Parkway, which I'll actually just bring to there. Okay, slight detail. So, ah, and traffic lights. So, let's take care of the traffic lights, and by take care, I mean remove, or traffic light in this case. Okay, there we go. We've got quite a bit of traffic in the area already, so look at that. So that's just kind of the outside view of how the area looks, uh, the whole southern part, uh, the southern and southeastern part of Ottawa looking to suburbs. So we're going to start working our way uh, in this area, working our way to the east. Um, so let's go take a look at what uh, Google is telling us we have to do here. So... Let's go look at, uh, there is a residential area in here, no shock. So Bank Street, so there is Bank Street, yeah, uh, which is Bank Street. Bronson, there is Bank Street. Ah, there's quite a bit of area there. So the residential area actually goes in here um, okay so the residential area which uh, looks to be uh, Applewood Crescent 
Acres, Applewood Acres in Alta Vista. I think it's Applewood Acres. It's just not marking it correctly on Google Maps. It is actually over here. So we're going to call this um, Applewood Acres over here. So this will be Applewood Acres over here. So use the large fill tool. And this is all going to be Applewood Acres out over here. So up to there, and all the way around. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is Applewood Acres. Acres as uh, such, okay. And let's see how water and electricity. Water is okay, electricity is also okay, so we are fine in that regard. So let's go ahead and see what roads are going to come in here. So I will put in um, Clementine Boulevard, which will go all the way up the top of the railroad track. So, uh, so right from there up to the top over. Okay, not a problem. So let's use the bike bike lane. Okay. There we go, and that is going to be uh, Clementine Boulevard. Okay, Clementine Boulevard. Okay, and then we're going to put on the smaller roads. So we have Gilly Streets. And we have Clover Street that goes all the way up. So Gilly Street. So we have one, two, three, four, five roads that come up. So let's go ahead and put those five roads in because that will tell us where the rest of them will go and how. Let's it there. One. And let's go back this way as well. And we go to there. That's one, two, three, four, I believe it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so just five roads. So let's go ahead and put the fifth one in. And good, we have got space for it. And all the way up to there. Perfect. Okay, we have two roads that go up and down. And then we are going to be naming them. Let's go put these all in. There we go. And let's put this one in as well. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so that is done. Up until there. Okay, now it's going to be a rather larger residential area of Ottawa. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see how this is all coming together. Okay. So we have Secord Avenue. So let's go to name these. So that'll be Support Avenue. Support Avenue. So you know what? I'm going to name these afterwards. I'm going to put everything in. Then I'm going to go ahead and name everything afterwards. So then we have Rockingham Avenue. Street, third street up there. Okay. Okay. 
So let's put in the city services that are going to be needed here. And let's see here. So we have, let's see what, so uh, health care for sure we'll put in. Fire services for sure we will put in. I'm actually going to put in two fire services, one here, one up here. Then um, another one is death care for sure. We're going to put that in as well. And we're also going to put in a police station uh, right over here. So that is going to be Ottawa South. Mm, random. And Ottawa. Ottawa South. Ottawa Police South Division. There we go. Okay, so now let's take a look at schools. Actually, I will put in a third fire station. I will put one up here as well. Just up there like that. Okay. Ah, it even made some happiness up in uh, Old Ottawa South District. Okay. Uh, next, I would like to put in schools and parks. Um, there is Heron Park. That is located there. Um, hmm. You know what? I will actually be very happy to put this in. RA Center. Uh, Vincent Massey Park. Believe it or not, I'm going to put it. Put this in as the Vincent Massey Park because I am actually going to connect it right over up to Carleton University. That is what I am going to do. So let me take a mid-size brush. Let's go ahead and put this in. And let's paint it all the way through to here. This is where the main park is going to go. Just like that. Uh, that is a big city park. And I'm going to be connecting it into uh, the university so people can walk there easily. So I think that will be a good idea because we'll put a pathway through there so people can walk from the residential area into there. And that will encourage more people to use the university and it'll generate more money for the park. So this was called um, Vincent Massey Park. Okay. Uh, Vincent uh, Ma Massey Park. I think that's how it's spelled. Yes, it is. Okay, so that is good. That is done. And that is the only park that comes into this area. So the rest of it will have to just uh, put in other kinds of entertainment. So let's see what school we can have here. And there is no school in this area. Hmm. That is not good. Uh, so I will have to make schools for this area because that is too big of an area not to have a school in it. So I will actually go ahead and put in... I will actually put the schools over here. So let me find two large schools. Put the fire station there. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in the schools. And... find a larger school. So that is 400 uh, capacity. Um... Yeah, I think that's okay. That should be enough for this area. And then let's go find a larger high school. So that was 1100. And that is probably about right. There we go. Okay. So now let's go ahead and put in some entertainment. So um, entertainment, uh, luxury park. That is what I would like. Luxury playground. One, two, three, four, and we'll put one over here, and we should actually extend the park to over here, I just realized, 
we should extend it to over here like that there we go okay so now let's put in some residential we are ready now to start populating the Applewood Acres district just as such for now I might put some commercial along here um, just because um, it just so that people do have some commerce closer by there we go let's make that commercial and we will make that commercial as well in here and this will just simply be residential okay like that okay so we've got that going now and so now let's start naming things and, and circle back around to naming everything so we have support avenue richard avenue support avenue so we're gonna have richard avenue avenue as such and then we have Aldea Avenue, Girton Avenue. So Aldea Avenue, Aldea Avenue, and Girton Avenue. Girton Avenue. And then up there we have Appledore Avenue. Uh, uh, How is it spelled? Appledore. Apple Door Avenue. Okay. And so let's see here. Uh, this is going to be Applewood. Applewood Elementary. And it is going to be Applewood Secondary. Applewood Secondary. Secondary. Okay. There we go. All right, uh, so the rest of the streets, so we have that named. Let's get the name of this road over here. That is called uh, Guile Street. Oh, it's already named Appledore. That's fine. It's already named Apple. Oh, that's fine. We're going to leave it named Appledore. That is absolutely fine with me. Um, so here we have Rockingham Avenue. Okay. Rocking M Avenue. Okay. And Benanger Avenue. Benanger Avenue. Avenue. Okay, there we go. And that is all done. And that is Bag Street, yes. Oh, let's remove the traffic lights. There we go. Remove, remove, remove. Okay, and remove. Remove. And remove. Good. And those are all out. Good. Okay, so those are all out. Fantastic. So now let's go ahead and name everything in here. So we have the Applewood, Applewood Crematorium. And we'll change that, we'll set that to random. I think the police station I did not set to random, or did I? I did set it to random. Okay, good. So uh, what else we have? So we have um, Applewood Medical Clinic, Applewood uh, EMS, actually. That's what I call them. And we'll switch that to random. Okay, and here we have, um, so there'll be a Clementine Fire, and I'll be set to random, and I know that I have one up here as well. This will be called Bank and Clementine Fire, Bank and Cle Clementine Fire, there we go, just like that, and let's make that random. Okay, and so we have one more fire station here. Let me call it Richard Avenue Fire. So Richard Avenue Fire, I'm just naming it 
by the single road because there's, there will be no other fire stations on this road. So Richard Fire is Richard Fire. There's only one place that that could be. Okay. Because when we have long roads that go this long, it's possible to have two, three, four fire stations along them. So that's why I put in the intersection so that we know which one it is. But when there's only one road, I only put in... Um, the first name of the road. I don't have to put it in the intersection because we know where that one road is and it's the only one on the road. Okay, and it, and it won't be hard to find because of that. Um, so, that is all done. Now, it needs some more commercial and I don't blame it. I actually completely heartfeltly agree that it needs some more commercial. So, I'll put some commercial in there. And I will also put residential all along here. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to use marquee to fill that in. Oops, there we go. And I will use marquee on this side as well to fill this in over here. And those will actually become commercial. Let me fill that in as commercial. That will be filled in as commercial. Okay, and... Uh, that will be it for the commercial for now, I think. We will put some of these as commercial, as we will be having some residential in here. There we go, just like that. And then these will all be residential zones. Uh, Low-density residential zones, that is. Just like that. So we're going to fill those in. Okay. All right, so that is coming along. So let's go ahead and make the park. Um, I'm rather excited about this because I think this is going to be very interesting to do. Um, so if I'm just gonna, first I'm going to start by just setting up all of the uh, gates that it's going to need. So let's put the main side gate over here, or the small main gate rather. Uh, we'll put another side gate there, another one there. And we'll have one more over here for those people. And then the interesting part is that we're going to have one over here and we're going to path it all the way through to the university so there we go and then we're gonna put it here and where does it go there okay so let's bring it over here and let's bring it up and can we cross it of course we can to so there and let's bring it up cross it and back down there we go and Ah, we will need to cross the uh, rail, railroad as well, but I am very happy to do that. Okay. So let's bring... Oh, no, we don't have to. Oh, it's elevated. Ah, our advantage. Ah. ah. Not fortunate on that one. There we go, and we'll connect all of these. And then I will just connect this one as well. And I will simply bring this to here. Actually, let me bring this one here instead. There we go. It's going to make a little more sense. There we go. And uh, where is this entrance? Why is it not connecting? There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. And I'll put another side gate over here. Uh, it's not in park area. Well, let's make it be in the park area. So there we go. And just like that. There we go. And let's go ahead and connect these. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got uh, that all done. So what I'm actually going to do is fill in this area um, as park area. And then I will see what I will do with the rest of this area here because we've got a lot of empty space here. Um, but I know that there are, there are some things that do go in here. So I will take a look at that in a moment. Uh, let me just go ahead and work on this part first. I'm going to put this in. Let's put it to here, 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 and to there. There we go. Okay, so let's get all of the park assets in. And we're just going to put all the park assets and scatter them all around in here. And I'm going to very easily bring this up to a level 5 park. Um, of course, the score that we need for that is 1120. Uh, the entertainment score that we need is 1120. I think that I'm going to very easily be able to do that. There we go. Let's put in some. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, one, 
two, and three. Okay, and uh, actually, I'm going to move this one around. I'm going to put it over here, and I'm going to move this to over here for now. And I'm going to redo that path there that I accidentally destroyed. So let me go back here to the path. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but I do want it to be good and fixed. Okay, so let me actually move this. We'll put this up over here instead. Okay, and so now we have got... So that is a trampoline park. So next, uh, I believe it's uh, playgrounds that we need to put in. So one, two, three, four, five. And I think that that's enough. That should bring us up to... Oh, yes, by far. So we've got Celebrate Night Tours on. So that uh, that brings us to an entertainment score of 1175, which is over 1120. So as soon as we have uh, enough people going through the park, it will just level up to a level five park for us. So far, we've had two visitors already and a total of three visitors. And we need to get to 500 for it to become a level two park. So let's see. So the area is populating, and uh, there's going to be another road, actually, that's going to come in through here, all the way around up into there. Um, for spacing, what I might do, I'm going to destroy this a little bit, because I'm going to bring it down a little bit more to the south to give myself some more space here. I'll just make it daytime so that I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm going to bring this, destroy all of this. I'm going to rebuild it, and I'm going to make it so that it kind of comes down a little bit. So I just have a little more space for the road I'm going to put in here. Um, there we go. So there and there. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Uh, so that'll help us out a little bit because I'm going to get a road in here. Um, maybe even just a little bit more to the south just a little bit more to the south. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more to the south. A little bit lower. Okay, so... There we go. There we go. Alright. Then we're going to have a road that comes in here. Um, it is going to be, um, I forget the name of it. Uh, it's called Transit Way. Ah, and it intersects with the highway as well. How interesting. Up there, okay. So, um, interesting, okay. So, it, it actually comes to the right, um, or the left, rather, of the highway. Okay, let me use curvy tool. This will be an interesting uh, design here of how this is going to go. So it goes this way. And let's get it up. So there is an entrance. There is a way onto the highway here. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that up. I, I'm not sure why, because there's hardly anything here. But it's there, nonetheless. So that means in, if it's there in real life, it will be here as well. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then there is a roundabout that goes in here. Interesting. Okay. So spine road uh, that comes in here. So we will see what will go in there later. But for now, we're just going to be putting this in here. So let's get a small roundabout in here. And there we go. There's a roundabout that comes in here. Just like that in the center, about there, and 
all of these goodbye. And then we're going to... There we go. And let's upgrade these to road with bike path. Okay. Oh, and we missed... I, I missed one. There we go. Okay. And then we have straight line that will come out here to there. There we go. Oh, it's a little too far. Maybe not so far. Let me redo this a little bit. Just bring it to there. Ah, one more, one more block out. There we go. And then up. Yeah, that's much better. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I got that correctly in there. Yes, I do. I do, I do. Ah. Uh, okay. So that is Spine Road. Uh, spine Road. And we will call this entire thing Spine Road. There we go. This will also be Spine Road. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. So this will continue out, and there there's transit way that comes in and around. So let's just take a look at how transit way. Normal straight line curves just a little bit. So we could just pretty much make a straight line road. Um, let's get transit way. And this is essentially a commercial area. Just like that. Okay. So, let's get into naming this. So, Data Center Road. Interesting. Okay. So, Data Center Road. And Transit Way. And that's all it is called, no extension, just transit way. Transit way, just as such. Okay. And what is transit way? It's just, just a road that goes back and forth. Ah. Okay. There's like a shopping center area inside there. Interesting, because there is a railroad that does kind of come in front of it. Okay. So one thing I want to do is perhaps fix this a little bit. Put a curve in here, maybe. Have it look a little bit better. Okay. So I think it's going to look better. Yes, much better. So how many people have visited Massey Hall? Seven. Total of 37. Okay. Well, the, the night is still young as the expression goes. We did just build this area. So it'll take some time for it to populate. Okay. And this is a good time to take a break. This, so this will conclude uh, this segment of our build of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And I will be back in 10-15 minutes to continue. Thank you very much for watching and see you then.